State Investigation Agency is conducting a raid at two locations in South Kashmir's Pulwama district in the terror funding case. This is the State Investigation Agency in JNK and this is the South Kashmir area in Pulwama and for a terror funding case there are raids taking place. This remember while there are uh, killings that already continue in the Kashmir Valley of uh, the Hindus in minority and the laborers who come from other states. Sunil Ji Bhatt joins me now. Sunil, State Investigation Agency conducting raids at two locations. What exactly is on the agenda here? Well, Puja, since the abrogation of Article 37K and 35A, there has been a major crackdown on uh, terrorists and uh, terror sympathizers. We have seen that how many terror sympathizers within the JNK administration have been identified and terminated. And uh, raids uh, have also been conducted yes. by the NIA, by the SIA at various locations, both in Jammu region as well as in the Kashmir Valley. And many people who are believed to be, you know, providing funds to terrorists have mm -hmm. been arrested and cases have been registered against. Them. And uh, in, as far as today's rate is concerned, it's an old terror funding case and uh, SI has some inputs and that is why it's conducting raids at two locations in South Kashmir's Pulwama district and uh, uh, the SI feels that there are few elements within the valley who continue to provide, you know, funds and other support to the terrorists. So, the terror ecosystem uh, is being now targeted by the SI, which is very important because there are still elements within the JNK administration as well as outside the administration who continue to provide logistic support to terrorists, who continue to okay. provide them funding directly or indirectly. So the SI, NI are on their job and there is a major crackdown on the terror ecosystem across Jammu and Kashmir. Puja, Thank you so much, Sunil Ji Bhatt, with that big news coming in. Raids are underway in the terror funding case. Remember, it's also important to find out not just who killed, but who's providing the funding, who's getting the funding from Pakistan and other outfits to escalate these killings of innocent people. This is big news coming in from Kerala. The Kerala Loka Yukta has ordered a probe against former Health Minister K.K. Shelja and few others in connection with the alleged corruption case of purchasing the PPE kits and other medical equipment during uh, the COVID pandemic and specifically the initial period because K.K. Shelja was uh, the minister at that point in the Kerala government. The Loka Yukta has summoned K.K. Shelja on 8th of December. The move came after a complaint was filed by Congress leader Veena S. Nair. Now remember, many were appreciating Shelja's work, but there are now allegations of corruption. For now, the Loka Yukta has summoned her for the next few days. So that's the big news coming in. Remember, K.K. Shelja, because has been at the forefront and uh, uh, was receiving praises for how COVID pandemic was handled in Kerala, but now a complaint has been filed by a Congress Neta, Congress Neta Veena S. Nair in Kerala, filed this complaint with the Loka Yukta. Loka Yukta primarily is uh, the anti-corruption leg of uh, the government and it ensures it's a transparent body. It's seen as someone that can track down corruption cases even against those who are at the helm of affairs. Now the Kerala Loka Yukta has ordered a probe against the former health minister K.K. Shailaja and few others in connection for alleged corruption in the purchase of the PPE kits. Let's go across quickly to Thiruvananthapuram, my colleague uh, right now joining me, K.G. Shibimol. Now, uh, Shibi, because K.K. Shelja was someone who was being appreciated and then this controversy comes in. What exactly happened? Um. Shibimol, can you hear me? All right, so that, uh, we'll just try and get that update in from K.G. Shibimol just in a short while, but that Many who were calling her the face of having resolved, having fought back the COVID pandemic in Kerala where it had first initiated in India, but now is facing a corruption charge of the purchase of the PPE kit, the protection kit that the doctors and the patients had worn. <laughs> 